Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a breakdown of Slimming World. So the basics. So if you want to find out more about the Slimming World diet and what it entails from someone that knows a fair bit about it, then keep watching. So before I get into this video, I am by no means an expert. I need to put that out there. Now, this is my second time doing Swimming World. I got to Target last time around and reached three stone in loss after having my daughter. And I have just started the same journey again after having my baby boy seven weeks ago. So I know what I'm talking about, but this is from kind of like a, a normal person's perspective, like how it works for me, like what it all means, what it's like, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna get into it. So what is Slimming World? Well Slimming World is I guess you could say a way of life. I don't really think of it as a diet and I think a lot of people that have had success with Slimming World will tell you the same thing. I don't do Slimming World and feel deprived in any way. I don't feel left out of certain situations. I don't feel like I am you know being restricted in any way. I just think it's that sort of good conscience on like you know on the shoulder you got the devil and you got the angel summer world's kind of your angel on your shoulder when it comes to eating again at no point do you feel like hungry in any way and it is relatively easy to follow and it basically follows the rules of food optimizing but the nice thing about summer world is that rather than being restricted by like calorie counting and like a diet sheet where you're like no i've gone over that today i can't have any more protein i can't have any more carbs i've got to have a shake i've got to have like a bar you can be flexible you can eat with your family and it teaches you a lot about just making sure you're not having too much of certain types of food but without it feeling really restrictive so this works because it looks at foods that are low in energy density and that means that they have less calories per their density and their makeup and how you know full they make you feel so for example lots of fruits and vegetables will fall under that category now speaking of categories slimming world is split up into several groups of food that help you make certain choices throughout your day when it comes to eating and eating the right way really to lose weight so the first group of foods are free foods and these are foods that you can eat as much as you like of so pasta for example is one that surprises a lot of people that is free food if you want to eat loads of pasta be my guest tuck in and enjoy yourself rice is another one you've got like beans and pulses so baked beans you can eat loads of that sort of thing you can eat lean meat so they are all free so five percent fat um or less like lean beef mince for example chicken breasts like any meat with the fat cut off so bacon medallions are a big one that you see a lot of people eating and you have a lot of flexibility and freedom there you can also eat things like potatoes and certain vegetables or fruits so even fruits that are quite high in natural sugars like pineapple or grapes you can eat as much of those as you like but the one thing that you need to remember is that every time you eat a meal or you have a snack remember the rule of a third speed and that might sound like a load of gobbledygook to you but speed foods are where it's at so again these are free foods but you can eat even more of these and you just need to make sure if you imagine like a circular plate a third of your plate every single time needs to be full with these foods so great examples are things like melon or tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, broccoli, that sort of thing. There are lots of fruits and vegetables that fill up this category and every time you fill up a third of your plate with these speed foods that means you've got less room for other foods that maybe are free so they're still good for you, they're still nice and filling and nutritious but it just helps you manage how much you're eating without thinking about calories. So as I said before, instead of eating to tick off a calorie sheet and make sure that you're under a certain amount, you can eat as much as you like as long as you follow that rule. Now, the next group of foods to discuss are the healthy extras and these are two choices known as healthy extra A and healthy extra B. Now, if you are new to Summer World and you've seen a lot of the chat and the lingo online or, you know, on websites or on Instagram, that sort of thing, you might have seen the phrases hex A and hex B pop up a lot and that's just abbreviation for healthy extra A and healthy extra B. Now healthy extra A is a 
dedicated amount of dairy that you can eat that day. You can eat more dairy, which we'll come on to in a minute, but this is what it recommends that you should have every single day to make sure that you're getting enough of that sort of food. So like plenty of calcium, that sort of thing. Now, dairy could be a preferred milk that you like to drink. So maybe like an almond milk, if you're not into drinking like cow's milk, for example, it can be cheese, it can be that sort of thing. And then healthy extra B is a portion of fiber that's a will recommend you have every single day so this could be certain cereals it could be bread for example which is always a good news because i absolutely love carbs or you can have certain cereal bars like these and these are slimming world special cereal bars that really just taste like a big treat because they're so nice and these are called hi-fi bars and this is the dark chocolate mint flavor they've got loads of different varieties and i tend to use my healthy extra b for these because i just love them so much then the final group are like sins basically which is spelled s-y-n-s -S. and sometimes i think that's a bit of an iffy word because you don't want to feel sinful when you're having a treat do you but they are there to be used it's recommended that you have between 5 and 15 sins maximum per day and you can use these sins however you want now when you join slimming world you will get a pack like this and you will also get access to the slimming world app so what you can do is that when you're out and about in your local supermarket and you want to see how many sins are in a certain thing for example you can type that in your app and the Simmon World app will tell you how many sins there are per like packet or per weight and then you can decide whether or not you want to use your sins on that that day and the nice thing about this is is that you're still allowed to have treats so yeah can you have alcohol in Slimming World you bet love me a gin or a Bacardi and Coke and I don't feel deprived at all can you have chocolate definitely can you have sweets yes can you have ice cream yes there are so many things that you can have and use these sins on and it just depends on how it works for you some days i use barely any sins some days i use the full 15 and i enjoy myself because i'm here to live my life i want to be healthier i want to lose weight but i can still have fun with those sins as well and that is basically the basis of the slimming world plan and how you eat so if you want to join, there are two ways that you can join. You can either do it in group where you go and get weighed every single week in a local group near you and you'll find that like, you've got a group leader who will be really, really supportive and inspirational. And this group leader will have done this journey once upon a time just like you are. When I got to Target last time around, I was actually invited to be a group leader. But with three kids now, I don't think it's something I feel like I could fit in. But these are normal people who have been right where you are and they are like proof that it all works if that makes sense so they really really do understand there's nothing to be afraid of and it's actually proven that people that do go to group weigh-ins do better than people that do online but obviously if online is what you prefer and you just don't feel confident enough to go to group yet or you won't be able to fit it in because of job or work or childcare commitments then online is a great option as well and it enables you to do it at your pace and pick up all of the sins and use the app that way so it's definitely doable no matter what situation you're in. Now, a question that people ask me a lot is, you know, is Slimming World actually affordable? Is it doable? And I actually think it is because I personally used to spend a lot more money on things like wine and alcohol and, you know, going for meals out or takeaways was a big one. And I spend my money elsewhere now on going to group and it really does make a positive difference to my life and I think it's really, really worth it. Slimming World are also, at the time of saying this, um, introducing a new recipe book that is... 60 meals I think for a family of four under six pounds so there's definitely some more affordable options and that's very new so it's quite exciting to think that they are thinking about everyone no matter what their budget is. Speaking of feeding a family it is also really really family friendly. My children eat some in more food all the time they're not dramatically losing weight because they have a varied diet compared to me. I also make sure that I add full fat things to their portions so if we have like a spaghetti bolognese for example and make sure that they have like full fat cheese on whereas I might go without that day just little changes like that they obviously have different snacks to me and they're growing really well but it's really family friendly and it also encourages you to learn how to cook new meals and that sort of thing but if you aren't a confident cook or you are quite pushed for time one day then you can also check out these Slimming World meals that are available from Iceland so that's also an option as well. Now I'm going to put my hands in the air right up in the air and say that when I first started 
nearly two years ago now I went to my first ever group and I expected it to be a load of bollocks I really really did I didn't think it was going to work I thought it was going to be one of those things that I went to for a couple of weeks and then just thought this is absolutely ridiculous but I lost three stone in the end and it took me about seven months to do and that was with like Christmas and my birthday and my daughter going in for surgery and going on holiday and I had ups and downs I had struggles like anybody does but the fact that I'm doing it again after having my third baby shows that I am a huge huge fan and I do feel like this is a sort of way of life rather than a diet I commend anyone for trying to lose weight to be healthier and feel more confident and obviously the journey and the path that you take is personal to you and I would never ever ever criticize anyone for that journey that they take so whether or not it's like Slimming World or it's Weight Watchers or it's calorie counting like on my fitness pal or it's like introducing loads of exercise into your life or it's like on a, a shake or a protein supplement diet that kind of thing I think that is amazing and like you know well done you for making that decision but at the same time I've got to be a big champion of Slimming World because it doesn't feel like my life has changed that much do you know what I mean like I don't feel like I can't go out for a meal and I'm sat there with like you know a, a protein shake or, or something like that I feel like it really really fits into my life and I feel healthy I feel like I'm eating the right things I feel like I notice a difference in myself and my confidence and my family can join in and I don't feel like you know the elephant in the room which is such a nice and liberating feeling I've never ever lost weight as successfully as I have on Summing World and you know I wish I was being paid for this it isn't a sponsored video it's just you know I feel really strongly about it, it completely changed my life I had premature arthritis well I still have it I was diagnosed with it when I was about seven years old and the weight and the pressure that I was carrying around with me last time around was really really hurting my joints and my knees in particular and my ankles I was so uncomfortable I was hiding my figure in baggy jumpers even when it was hot outside I was walking with my head to the floor like I wouldn't look at anyone I would be apologetic I would put myself down all the time and when I got to target last time around I felt incredible I I still had stretch marks and loose skin from having babies and I don't look perfect but I just feel amazing when I'm doing it. So I just wanted to make this video to help a few people out and hopefully it did. If you do have any questions leave them below and if you want to reach me real time and see what I'm eating or how I'm doing then make sure that you subscribe to this channel or head on over to my Slimming World Instagram account. I have two accounts, one is Char Taylor which is my main one and then I also have Char Taylor SW which is my Slimming World one. Go ahead and follow both because you'll probably get insight to how I'm like doing things on both anyway and yeah good luck to you if you decide to start I really really hope it works for you like it has done for me and I will see you next time